Now we have another algebra review lesson. This one is on solving equations. And this gets to the heart of the matter of what algebra is about. This involves the manipulations of equations where you add the same thing to each side of an equation or subtract the same thing or multiply both sides by the same thing or divide both sides by the same thing. And you use those techniques to manipulate an equation to solve for a given variable. In this case, we're going to be solving linear equations, which means nothing is squared. They're not quadratic equations where something would be squared or cubic equations where something would be cubed. These will all be linear equations. And here are the first two. The first one, 4x plus 3 equals 15. We want to solve this for x, so we need, we need to isolate x. In other words, we want to manipulate the equation until it looks like x equals something. And so the first thing to do to isolate x is to isolate the term that contains x. In other words, we need to get rid of the plus 3. So we'll say minus 3. And if we subtract 3 on the left, we also have to subtract 3 on the right side of the equal sign. On the left, this plus 3 and the minus 3 cancel each other out, and we're just left with 4x. On the right side, we have 15 minus 3, which is 12. Now, if you can go from this first step to here in your head without writing this minus 3 down there like that, that's okay. Um, 4x equals 12. You can see at this point that x is 3. You, you think 4 times x equals 12. What does x have to be? 4 times what is 12? Well, 4 times 3. And you can go right there and write down your answer. x equals 3. The, um, the manipulation that you're actually doing here is taking both sides and dividing by 4. And you're doing that on each side. And on the left, the 4s cancel out, leaving you with just the x by itself. And on the right, the 12 minus 4 gives you a 3, so you're left with x equals 3. But again, if you can go from here to here in your head, mentally, without writing this down, that's okay. All right, number 2, 4x plus 3 equals negative 15. This is a similar problem, we just have the negative sign right there. We still want to solve for x, which means we need to isolate the term that contains x. So we get rid of the 3. So I do minus 3 to get rid of the 3 right there. And if I subtract 3 on the left, I have to subtract 3 on the right. When I do that, on the left side, I'm left with the 4x again. And on the right side, I have negative 15 minus 3, which is negative 18. And then I can divide both sides by 4. And on the left, the 4s cancel out, leaving me with x. And the answer is x is negative 18 fourths. Now this is a fraction, and when you have an answer as a fraction, it should be reduced to simplest form. And 18 and 4 are both divisible by 2, so I can divide them by 2 and get negative 9 halves. And that's my answer. If you wanted to write it as x is negative 4 and a half or negative 4.5, that's the same thing. This would be an acceptable answer as well. Those are mathematically equivalent. You weren't told to leave your answer in a fractional form versus a decimal form, so either is okay.